Opinion, no wrist corsages, please to view the full article, click the first link in the description below, when the ticket headed south, Jim Buck Ross, Mississippi's 70-year-old commissioner of agriculture, called the 48-year-old Ferraro young lady and asked if she could bake blueberry muffins. Ferraro's historic campaign was full of images never before seen on the presidential trail. As she went on stage, Jerry, as she was universally known, would hand off her pocketbook to an aide. Her charming press spokesman, Francis O'Brien, sometimes ironed her dresses as her main foreign affairs adviser, Madeleine Albright, looked on. It was fascinating to see age-old customs through the eyes of a woman candidate. People hand me their babies, Ferraro marveled. As a mother, my instinctive reaction is how do you give your baby to someone who's a total stranger to kiss, especially with so many colds going around? And especially when the woman is wearing lipstick? It was the first time a candidate running for the White House had talked about abortion using the phrase, if I were pregnant, and about foreign policy with the phrase, as the mother of a draft-age son. The smart-ass white boys around Mondale, as many feminists call them privately, got nervous when she talked about being a mother. How could she be tough on a mother, they wondered, not seeing the obvious, mothers are tougher than anyone. Fearing white male backlash, they tried to control her bouncy queen's persona. Ferraro walked the same tightrope that tripped up Hillary Clinton when she wondered if she should wheel around in the debate and tell the creeping Donald Trump to scram. If she got angry, would she seem shrill, that dread word, and turn off voters? The Mondale inner circle wanted Ferraro to play the traditional running mate role of hatchet man. But Gloria Steinem warned, nothing makes men more anxious than for a woman to be masculine. George H. W. Bush excitedly proclaimed after his debate with Ferraro that he had tried to kick a little when the ticket headed south. Jim Buck Ross, Mississippi's 70-year-old commissioner of agriculture, called the 48-year-old Ferraro young lady and asked if she could bake blueberry muffins. Ferraro's historic campaign was full of images never before seen on the presidential trail. To view the full article, click the first link in the description below.